Hey guys, so today we're gonna be going on an adventure. Yesterday, I picked up my Rivian R1S and I impulsively booked an Airbnb in Joshua Tree and we're going on a road trip. This is my first ever EV that I've owned. I've done road trips before in the past with EVs as well as with the Rivian. The good thing about a road trip is I can basically pack whatever I want because I have space. So as you can see behind me, we've got a lot of stuff packed. We're gonna go pack up the car, we're gonna get some groceries and we're gonna hit the road. Let's go. I already took my backpack to the car, uh, but this is literally just my gear for like a two, three day trip. And of course we have a tripod and all that other stuff. Drones, cameras, lenses, we've got everything because we, you know, we're calling it a vacation, but like, it's like a work trip. Here's the one problem with what's about to happen is this car is very tall. So now I have to lift my luggage very, very high. And it's very heavy. Like, okay, maybe I should pack lighter, but like also I need the stuff. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, it wasn't that bad actually. Let's get a little frunk action. It's kind of dark in here. Good job. All right, we have the car all packed up and we are officially ready to leave Los Angeles. I'm just pulling up the address of the Airbnb so that we can get going. It's so weird because I only ever use my phone for GPS. So like using something that's built in to the car is very unlike me. So here we have 74 miles on arrival, which actually is pretty shocking. Uh, here's the route. Uh, if I want, let's hit start. Drive south. Drive south. Right. Okay, I can find charging along the way, but honestly, um, I'm just gonna worry about that when we get there. Let's go. An hour and 26 minutes left. I've been driving for about two hours. Traffic was absolutely horrible today. Completely forgot that, you know, uh, Joshua Tree is a little bit far from Los Angeles and with traffic, it can be a very, very long time. I am so tired. I had a sparkling ice with caffeine, but then had to make a little pit stop to Starbucks because I gotta stay awake. The drive is going so well. I love driving this vehicle. Driving an electric vehicle just feels so much better too because you have like the one pedal driving so it's like you don't have to switch between you know the pedal and like the brake so it has like the regenerative braking as well it's just a very nice drive i've missed driving this so much okay here we go hour and 26 minutes i will arrive with 72 miles we'll see what happens on the navigation if i do want to charge i can just hit this button right here zoom out and it will show me all of the chargers in the area so there's actually one right behind me, zero or four available, okay. Here we have two or three available. We have nine of six available. So we've got all types of options. We have right here, uh, four or four available. So we've got a lot of stuff nearby. Okay, so I stopped at the outlets. I have like 120 miles left, but like I'm scared that once I get there, there's not gonna be anywhere to charge. And I have a little bit of range anxiety. I'm gonna go pay and see if it works. You guys see that Ford Lightning over there? Ford Lightning. EV life so far, I mean, I say it's stressful, but it's actually not that stressful. People were fighting for these spots. Like this poor lady I was filming, she's like, hey, can you help me? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's like, I need, like, I can't get this to charge. I'm like, well, let's figure this out. And then this guy pulls up in the Ford Lightning. He's like, hey, are you charging? She's like, well, I'm trying. And he's like yelling at her. He's like, I don't have any charge. So like, I need you to move, which I didn't appreciate um, him doing that to her. I don't know what I'm doing, but this guy is very close to my car. So he better back up. It's 95 degrees outside as well, so I have my air condition absolutely blasting. This is actually a great time while I wait. I wanted to open this earlier before I started the road trip, but a lot of things happened and I wanted to get on the road. John Rettinger, you may know him. He told me that when I was gonna be getting my Rivian to order one of these and I wouldn't regret it. And we're gonna see um, if, if he was right. So this is a T-Wrap. It basically is gonna create a wireless MagSafe charging dock right here in the center console. So let's open it up. Wow, okay. Comes with a nice cloth. Oh, I mean, this is basically, this is it. It's right here. So here it is. Now I'm gonna set it up. This fits perfectly right here. And where we have the two wires, they just fit nicely in there. And we plug it in to 
one of the USB-C ports. It does work and I like that it also has the cutout so it matches up perfect with the Rivian center console that's already there. Shout out to John Rettinger uh, for telling me to get that. I appreciate it. I'm over it, so let's hit stop session. I want to continue on my journey. Okay, great, 60%, good enough for me. You're done. Guys, there's another Ford Lightning right there. Now it says that I have 129 miles on arrival. Makes me feel a little bit better. I don't even know what time of day it is or how long it took to get here, but it was a very, very long time. But now I'm uh, gonna stop and get some food. Thought I could make it all the way to the Airbnb without eating, but my blood sugar is low. My patients are low. I'm very hungry. Um, I finally made it to the Airbnb. This Airbnb said that it had a Tesla only charger, so I bought a adapter online and this is gonna be a true test to see if it works. So here's the adapter. This says top fit Tesla. <gasps> oh my god, okay. <laughs> okay, let's see if it's gonna work. I turn green. So this is a level two Tesla charger. $150 adapter from Amazon. Also, John Rettinger told me to get. Uh, thanks, John Rettinger. Put a link in the description. But I feel so relieved because I'm in the middle of nowhere. There's not many chargers in Joshua Tree. So, woo! Let's unpack. Now, I know it's actually not good to charge your car all the way. So let's kind of uh, change it to only do the extended. Actually, let's do daily while we're here because we don't need to do anything too crazy. The fact that you can search on Airbnb if um, they have chargers was also helpful. And the fact that I saw that this said Tesla only level two, I made sure to have the adapter, but I didn't know if it was gonna work. You really never ever know. So it is 7 p.m. Traffic was horrible. It took me a really long time to get here, uh, but let's go inside and let's see the Airbnb, shall we? All right, we're inside. Let's let's see what's around here. Okay, first we are greeted with a laundry room. Very premium laundry room, very nice. Over here, we've got a bedroom. Uh, this definitely has a lot of bedrooms and I don't need them all. And over here is really what sold me on the Airbnb listing, this kitchen. Look at this kitchen. It is so gorgeous. Got this really nice living room with a little fireplace. And over here, got a nice dining room table. This is also a super cool hallway with all the Joshua trees. Another bedroom. Oh, it's so nice. This bathroom is also super cool. I love all of like the dark um, like floors and the dark cabinets and the mirror. <gasps> Yo! This is where I will be. It's gonna be in the 90s Fahrenheit and I just wanna get some sun, sit in this chair and do my work. Oh, if I could put my butt right there. I could put my butt anywhere and do what I want. So while I unpack, maybe I'll just uh, set up a little time lapse and uh, grab a drink and enjoy the beautiful scenery. Okay, so the adapter was working, but for some reason, anytime I would walk away and my car would lock, it would stop. So I don't know if that was some type of Rivian mechanism or the fact that it was the Tesla charger. Not really sure, gonna look into it, but way too tired to do that right now. So. In the Rivian, it does come with the level one charger where you can plug it into a normal plug or you can do it with the bigger one, which is this big boy, which I don't have access to because this is not my house. So I'm gonna plug this in directly to the outside of the Airbnb. We'll just see what happens. I still have a little bit of range anxiety. Can you tell? Oh, that feels not safe at all. <gasps> it's charging, it's green. Yes. Stay green. Oh, I have tripped the breaker. It has literally ripped out of the wall. So, um, look. Also, obsessed with the light. Look at that. So cool. Okay, found a more stable outlet, possibly. Cause like it could have been the breaker, but also it ripped out of the freaking. Good, good. Not good, good. Not sure what that means. Yes! I've been, no! Desert has weak power.
Okay, you guys. I just want to make sure that during my trip, I'm able to charge. Obviously, that's a very reasonable thing. So I found a place down the street, five miles. I found a charge point, which I, if I would have done my research ahead of time, I would have known. But I need physical proof that it's going to work just to help my sanity. I just want something to work. Please work. She's working. That's what we like to see, people. Yes. So where have we left off? Uh, we were charging, uh, basically just been hanging out all day, but it's time to use the Rivian once again to go get dinner. What I really like is that you can use the Rivian app to control the climate. So it says that it is 135 degrees inside my car. So I'm gonna hit cool down. It's set to 67. So that's pretty, that's pretty cold. Uh, so I'm gonna wait for that to cool down, get in the car and go to dinner. But great feature, great feature. Earlier today, I was at the pool and I took my speaker uh, to the pool, which was actually quite lovely. But now I'm gonna put it back so that it can charge and I can use it again tomorrow. And let's lock it in. It did cool off, but I only gave it like a minute, so it didn't cool off that much, but definitely better than 135. Okay, let's go to dinner. Off-road mode, let's do it. Going down that road, off-roading. Some of the shots I really like are the drone shots following the car. Now in Joshua Tree, there's a lot of places you can't drone and this is not one of them. I'm not in the park, I am outside in a drone friendly area. So there's like no one around except some um, poles that we're gonna stay away from. But let's just see what happens. to charge so the trip is coming to an end gonna be heading out tomorrow morning uh, we only have 68 miles right now and that's not gonna get us back to Los Angeles so we're gonna do our first full charge oh, I have to change the setting let's get juiced out of our mind all right opening up the charge point app actually I don't even need the charge point app because I have it in my wallet charge point tap plug in all right, cool, I'm gonna go inside and, well, I guess oh, I, could, I really would like to take a nap, but there's just no time. So in theory, this is when I would get my work done or take a nap. Um, yeah, let's utilize our time, shall we? Ooh, hour and 58 minutes. Um, I don't like that. So on my dashboard it says I have 154 minutes remaining, but on the machine it says 104 minutes. I can get on board with 104 minutes. Two hours, no, that's where you lose me. When you think about it, this is pretty incredible technology. Like I just sat here, did some work, played some games, and my car charged. $23, but if I were to fill this up with like my gas car, I was paying like at least $100 for like a tank of gas. So this is way better. All right, I have about 291 miles, 27 bucks. I think I'm, I think I need to go because I am, I'm so tired and I have to pack and I want to go to bed as soon as possible. And this will get me home. It's red. We love that. Thank you. It's officially the morning. Packed up the Rivian and gonna hit the road. It's 6:32. Uh, we've got like probably like a two and a half, three hour road trip ahead of us. She's all charged up and she's ready to go back to Los Angeles. So, let's go. I'm really tired. What else is new? What do you think of the whip? Oh my gosh, Jenna, it's so nice. Um, I also poked myself in the eye last night. So, okay, we'll um, just we'll just won't look at you. Okay. This is so nice, Jenna. Isn't it incredible? Holy moly! I love the interior. Me too. Two tone. All right, we're finally ready to end this video. I shot this road trip vlog a month ago and then I was out of town, but we are back now. We're in the Rivi and I just kind of want to wrap up the little road trip. It was honestly like such a fun little trip to the desert. Uh, obviously you saw there was a lot of charging um, 
worry and some problems, which does happen when it comes to electric vehicles. But overall, my experience has been very, very positive. I know you guys loved the video I did where I picked up my Rivian. Everyone was like, this is so exciting. The process was completely smooth. It was incredible. Um, some of my favorite features though about the Rivian, I'm obsessed with the ocean coast and the dark ash wood. Like it's like the two-tone. I love the blue. I was a little hesitant at first that it might be a little too much, but I'm in love with it. So some of the other features I love, I love the cameras, I love the gear guard, the front camera and the back camera having the overhead 360 is so, so helpful. I did not have a front camera or the 360 overhead on my last car, so this is like an absolute game changer. I've had a bunch of friends that I've been driving around, my friends Chris and Becky were here and I've been driving and Armando was actually in the car with me filming some videos and everyone's like, this is so nice. And Armando asked me, he was like, what is one thing that you would like to change or like maybe that you don't really necessarily think is the best right now and the only thing that I've been having some weird issues that not even issues I don't know if it's a me problem but sometimes when I unlock my car it like won't unlock right away it could be user air but sometimes that just feels kind of slow but that's like the only thing and the turn signal is really quiet you hear that it's really quiet or maybe my music is too loud Hard to say. To follow up on the adapter, uh, this did in fact work. So I've actually been charging my car at my sister's house. She has a Tesla. She has the wall charger installed at her house. And all I've been doing is attaching this adapter and charging at her house. And here is the proof. Now, yes, it was a little bit slower. Um, obviously I think because of the adapter, but like still I dropped it off would go home and would just leave it there for the day. I did not install my wall charger yet. I'm really bad at doing stuff. But yeah, overall, love my Rivian, love the road trip. You guys are gonna be seeing so many more trips um, with the Rivy. So in the comments, I need you guys to let me know what we should name the Rivian and maybe in the next video that I talk about it, uh, we will have a name for her and I'll let you know. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe. I will see you, uh, I'll see you later, bye. Isn't it crazy? Like my car is on.